Dios bendiga a los Estados Unidos de América. Exclusivo, vea este informe completo, antes que lo borren y mira la lamentable realidad. Patriotas, Marjorie Taylor Green se une a nosotros ahora con el informe sobre lo que vio. Muchas gracias por venir a hacer esto. Entonces cuéntanos a todos, ¿cuál fue su impresión de las condiciones en las que se retiene a estos manifestantes? Y tú dime, ¿qué opinas? Well, I think what we all saw was a big cover up. You see, I've been in that jail before and I know what it looks like. I was there back in late uh, 2021 when myself along with Louis Gohmert were the only ones to go into the jail and see the conditions that the pretrial January 6 defendants were being in being held in and it was so horrific that we wrote a report called unusually cruel that's still on my congressional website today well we finally were allowed to go back in after demanding another visit from the mayor's office for over a year um, we went in with the oversight committee and what we found is they had scrubbed the jail clean cleaned up all the mold and freshly painted the entire area so that it looked a lot better Well, I gotta tell you, Tucker, it fooled the Democrats, Robert Garcia and Jasmine Crockett that came along with us because they praised the jail after we left in their, mm. in their press conferences and praised the warden. But I guess since they're so new in Congress, they didn't know the history that this jail has and how many Democrats in Washington don't like the jail either. The fact that anybody is being held without even a trial yet over two years later is shocking to the conscience Did the Democrats in the delegation seem stunned by that? It doesn't seem like an American thing to do. No, they didn't care at all. As a matter of fact, they criticized us for talking with the pretrial January 6 defendants and being friendly with them. But you know what? We would have talked to the other inmates and defendants that were in the jail in other areas if they had given us a chance. You see, it was interesting. The director and all of the employees at the jail, they wouldn't let us talk to anyone else in the jail, only the pretrial January 6 defendants, which I found very disturbing because I want oversight of the entire jail. But other things that I found that really bothered me, and I think it should bother everyone, and we as Republicans have to do something about it, is the medical director in the jail showed off and bragged about all of her medical services and treatments that they can provide in the jail. But when we talked to the pretrial January 6 defendants, they told us they were receiving no medical treatments for problems and health problems that they have. Even one man in there with non-Hodgkin's uh, lymphoma, he has cancer and he doesn't Únete a la comunidad de noticias republicanas sin censura y mantente informado con la verdad detrás de las noticias en Estados Unidos. Te esperamos.